Okay, so we have this Boolean, this binary value here of your superpower being activated, and we've set it to zero to say that it, when the game starts, or when the object is created, it doesn't have its superpower. Uh, and just to be clear, these variables are specifically for this object here, control. So we've got that, okay? Now say we want to make it so that if your superpower is activated, then your max health is equal to 120 rather than 100. So that's what makes you super powerful. That's, that's what happens when the superpower is activated. So what can we do? Well, first I want to show you one way of doing it, which is quite a long way. We want to say if variable superpower equals zero, then we want this rule here. The condition of if your health is greater than 100, health is equal to 100, that is now within its own condition. That, that condition only applies if your superpower is equal to zero. Now we could copy that and paste that and say, okay, if your superpower is equal to one, then we'll change that so that if your, if your health is greater than 120, your health will become 120. So now we have the condition on your health if your superpower is zero and if your superpower is one. So just to make this absolutely clear if, if this isn't making any sense. We have these two conditions, okay? We originally had this condition saying that if your health is greater than 100, your health becomes 100. As if to say, basically, that your health is limited to 100. Now what we're saying is that that rule only applies if your superpower is turned off. So, if your superpower equals zero, and then open the squiggly bracket, and then we, if, if that's the case, then we apply this conditional rule that if your health is greater than 100, your health is equal to 100. And then we have the second squiggly close bracket to close this statement here. And then we have the alternative, if your superpower is equal to 1, then we have this condition that if your health is greater than 120, your health is equal to 120. So depending on whether you have your superpower or not, there's going to be different effects, different limitations on what your maximum health is. Now, just to be clear, the, with this statement, say if you were to have an error and for some bizarre reason, the variable superpower equaled 2. You, you don't want that to happen because it's meant to be a binary, but say if it happened. Well, neither of these would be true, so then there wouldn't be any limits on the maximum health. So you want to try to... So that's just basically some of the effects, that's one of the effects that can happen if you have an error, for example. Now, there is a much faster way, a shortcut, as to how to do this. And I want you to think about it. Well, in actual fact, if you haven't figured it out, I'll tell you, and hopefully you'll go, oh yeah, and be slightly amused. Um, we can do all this in one line of code. We don't need to say, if the superpower is zero, then do this. If the superpower is one, then do this. What we can do is just have a single line. Let's go back to what we originally had. Okay? So now what we'll have is... We will have have, if I compare it to my hedges, we'll have extra conditions on the limits. So now we will say let's make it 20 times. So what this is saying is that if your variable health is greater than 100 
plus 20 times the superpower, then your health equals, your health becomes, 100 plus 20 times the superpower. Now, superpower is 1 or 0, so if, so let's, let's run through this. If your variable superpower is 1, it will say, is your health greater than 100 plus 20 times 1, which is 120? If it is, make your health 100 plus 20 times 1, which is 120. So if your health is greater than 120, then make 120. And if your um, if the superpower is zero, then this bit gets negated because twenty times zero is zero. So then it'll just say if your health is greater than a hundred, then make your health equal to a hundred. So it's just important to know that you can make shortcuts. Sometimes you can reduce lines of code into fewer lines of code just by altering the code to say something different, but to essentially have the same effect.